Okay, today we're going to take a look at some Jeff Beck stuff, presets for the Helix, and I'm using my Variax for this. Um, so all the settings, there's eight snaps, all going to be set up for use with the Variax. Uh, first thing to note about him is he's very interactive with his volume knob and his tone knob. So you'll see as I go through, the, the volume and tone will be preset for what I'm doing for that part of the song. Um, you will have to get in there and change that and do it on the fly like he does. Um, that's how the guy rolls. Um, been through various periods in his life of playing different kit, different guitars, and he seems to have settled with straps through Fenders. His last album, allegedly recorded on Fender Champ Amps, and you won't believe the sound of his guitar on it, but that's what he recorded on. Um, so I've set it up with two different amps uh, for different stuff. Um, there's two main periods basically, Marshalls and uh, Fenders. Uh, we used AC30s a lot back in um, the 60s. Um, but we've gone with Marshalls and Fender. So the first thing we're going to look at is a typical Fender tone. Um, first thing you will notice is it's going to be super bright. That's because he will tone that down with his tone control. Okay, so we're going to have the normal volume pedal. It's going to be strap one. Dynacomp 1.8 at 75%. Um, just a little bit of squish. Um, okay, so we're using the, the twin for this one. We'll Fender first. Drive 9.5. No bass, treble up full, mids in the middle, master up full. Uh, EQ, we're going to boost the treble even further. Cabs got double, double, uh, 20 cabs. Um, basically, uh, the way I've set them is to give a bit of um, in the room sound with the distance and the mic type and uh, reflections and stuff like that. Uh, next thing we're going to hit for this basic sound is an EQ block. This is going to be on all the time at 7 kilohertz. So it takes away that funny fuzz um, that you get sometimes with the helix. Cave, the uh, air reverb, sorry. Um, decay 2, 40% in the mix. So this is just a basic Jeff Beck sort of sound. Um, and we'll take a listen. Okay, so I'm going to rattle through these. Marshall next. And it's used all sorts of Marshalls, everything from JTM 45s up to Silver Jubilee, Jubilees, JCM 800s. Uh, but for this one, we've gone with a Plexi. So everything's going to stay the same, other than the amp down to Plexi on the normal channel. Drive 8.5, no bass again, mid 2.6. Treble 10, Master 10. Another EQ block again, hoofing up the, the treble really high. So you're going to have to be interactive with it on your tone control. Um, double um, 4 by 12 cabs, same sort of thing as I'm doing on the Fender. That's on, and this is going to be the same. So again, just Marshall Spank on the Spank 1 setting uh, through the Variax, and we'll play the same sort of thing just did for the Fender. So there you go, that's um, a sort of a martial sound. So we're getting into the tunes. First thing, where were you from Guitar Shop? Recorded on Fender Twins, some sort of compressor, into a rat, into the twins, shit loads of delay, loads of reverb, and that's what we've got going on. Down the comp up high. Uh, again, just go back to the area. So as you can see, the volume set to six, uh, 8.5 on the tone control now. He will change that on the fly, he does a lot of swelling, swelling in and out of notes, but that's just what I've got set at the beginning of the song. Mm -hmm. uh, Dynacom 6, 100% in the mix, the Rat, 8.5, 3.5 on the filter, 8 on the level, that's all going to be set up the same as before. Delay, dotted 16 notes, 70% feedback, 30% in the mix, it's a lot of delay. That's going to be on the same as before. Um, and 4.5 on the decay for the cave reverb mix 45%. So I'm going to attempt to approximate what he sort of does on it.
straight up where we would. So moving on. Nadia, um, so this was his take on uh, an Asian inspired tune by a guy called Mitt Swanee. Um, so the part he's playing on the guitar is actually a vocal. If you never heard the original, take a listen to it. Don't know the name of the woman who sings it, but it'll blow you away. Uh, even more so knowing that how Jeff Beck imitated it. Some people think it was played on a slide. I've seen it played on a slide on YouTube. He plays it now with fingers in his tremolo bar, which is how I do it. There's a little slide part at the beginning. Um, anyway, I digress. So for this one, uh, we're using the Marshall. Um, into the Dynacomp. Fair old snot of that. The old Rat, 5.5 on the gain, 4 on the filter. Down into our standard setting for our Marshall amp. Uh, boosted the mids on this one, a bit up to 6. Delay, yep, quarter notes at 80 beats a minute. 6% feedback, 25% in the mix, that's going to be the same. And um, 0 0.8 on the decay for the reverb and the mix, 30% in it. So, for this, bridge pickup on the spank. So, strat. Volume down to about 6, so you've got some room for adjustment. Uh, tone down to 8.5 um, on the Variax. Again, you can have a little bit of a play with that, should that be your heart's desire. Um, and you'll have a little tinkly do on it. Okay, so just a little sort of interpretation of it there. So, moving on. Because we ended as lovers. So, again, because on the album cover, these pictures with that ox blood red, and um, Les Paul, people think it was played on Les Paul. It wasn't. It was played on a telly with, well, it was a bastardised telecaster with a humbucker in the bridge position. Um, so, sort of mixed with a broadcaster, a telecaster with some other stuff thrown in for shits and giggles. Um, play for the Marshall undoubtedly. Uh, probably a JTM 45, but we're going with the Plexi for it. So for this, we've got the volume down to 7.5 and the tone knob 8.5. Just a little bit of compression, not much. Using, for this one, Tube Screamer 7 on the gain, tone 5, level 6.7. Down to Marshall, similar setting for Nadia, that's going to be the same. Spit of delay, not much, 8 notes to 55 beats a minute. It's always the same. Uh, and some reverb. So, again, he does a lot of sort of swells with this uh, at the beginning, swelling those um, C notes that are bent up to a D uh, with the volume control. Um, the volume pedal's there to use if, if that's what you want to do or whatever. But we'll just have a little play through and see what it sounds like. So the last one, we're going to have three snapshots for the last one. And so the people get ready. This is the one I found the most challenging to dial in the, the, the modulated tone on. I think, I think I've done an alright job. So it's going to be Fender. 
Um, so Strat into the Fender Twin. Um, it, it's, uh, it's very 80s sound in the track. Um, so let's have a see what we've got going on. This is for the general rhythm sound. So a little bit of compression into the standard settings for the Fender amp. Again, boosted up them highs. That's going to be the same. I'm using the plastic chorus set to half notes sync to 72 beats a minute. 8.5 on the tone and 90% in the mix. Delay, just a little bit for the rhythm sound. That's all he's on. And quite a bit of um, reverb. So this is Spank 1. Um, volume up full, tone up full. Uh, on the video he's playing a Telecaster, but there's a little whammy bar inflection, so it wasn't played, played on a Telecaster. It have been played on one of his trusted strats, undoubtedly. So, let's have a listen. Okay, so moving on. So, after that little intro comes a very clean sort of solo tone that's heavily, heavily compressed. It really does pop. Um, so we're just boosting up the Dynacomp up to 8.5, putting the amp drive up a little bit. That's going to stay the same. The delay's going to pretty much stay the same. Reverb, we're going to wind in the decay and the mix just the same. So it sort of sounds a, a little bit like this. That sort of thing. Yeah, last is going to be the lead sound. Um, and again, Spank 5. Um, on the neck pickup, you switch it to the bridge pickup in places. Um, not as much compression, using the rat again. Um, everything else is going to stay the same. So, We'll have a little listen to um, that and see what's going on. Okay, so there you go, Jeff Beck. Um, let me know what you think, give me a big thumbs up, um, put something in the comments box, all that sort of stuff. I'll be back with something soon.